Responses, the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Speaker. It is an honour for me to rise in the House today to speak about Black History Month. Every time I enter this legislature, I think of my grandmother, Eva Hunter. And when I speak, I, I remember her and I speak in a strong voice because of her. My grandmother, Eva, immigrated to this country on a domestic visa. And in just a few short generations, her granddaughter can stand here and represent the people of her community. It's because of her journey why I'm here. So this week, as we mark the final days of Black History Month 2021, we are once again reminded of the pioneering spirit of people like my grandmother and Dr. Jean Augustine. In 1993, Dr. Augustine made history when she became the first African-Canadian woman elected to the House of Commons as the Member of Parliament for Etobicoke Lakeshore. Two years later, Dr. Augustine made history again when her motion to designate February as Black History Month in Canada received unanimous consent. The legacy of this achievement is clear. Over the course of the past 25 years, the month of February has taken on an important meaning throughout Canada as a time to reflect on how black history is integral to everyone's history. Black history is Canada's history. Black history has been made, is being made, and will continue to be made going forward. Black history happens 365 days of the year. This year, as we persevere against a pandemic that has fully exposed Canada's long-standing socioeconomic disparities, the virus has had a disproportionate impact on black lives. It is also clear that the important work of creating space for a true appreciation of black history must continue to go beyond the month. While we have been having conversations about anti-black racism and systemic racism, it is evident that we need to dig deeper into black history. This has to be done both from a critical and a Canadian perspective. If we do this effectively, we can find ways to leverage Black History Month to facilitate a collective understanding of the deep-rooted and systemic causes of existing inequalities and work to address them. Just yesterday, a report from the Prosperity Project highlighted that Black women and Indigenous women are critically absent from middle-level positions in 48 of Canada's largest corporations. It is impossible to advance to more senior ranks if you are not there to begin with. Governments must examine the role that they can play to correct this, especially in the broader public sector and in the public sector. So, Speaker, today as we reflect on the past 12 months, we are at a juncture that requires the next step to go beyond just learning about black history we need to become involved. We need to demand swift, substantive action, and we need to play a part in bringing about lasting change. And most critically, we need to do it together. Ubuntu is an African phrase that means togetherness. To that end, this Black History Month, as it draws to a close, it is more important than ever to remember and to celebrate Figures like Dr. Jean Augustine, who inspire us all as Canadians, or like my grandmother, Eva Hunter, who inspires me every day. The work of the Ontario Black History Society and all that they do reminds us that Ontario's legacy is indeed built on the rich history of black people. So in this diverse nation that is Canada, Black History Month will always be part of our core and collective value. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much.